Let's begin lying down on our backs as we often do, finding our way to Shavasana. And if you have a bolster or a pillow, place it underneath your knees. We will begin in a full body stretch. Extend your arms over the head, finding a deep breath in, maybe a yawn. This might be your first big stretch of the day. So really enjoy it, really savor it. Maybe lift the hips above the floor and move your pelvis side to side, saying hello to the hip flexors. And then release your pelvis and your arms to the floor by your sides. Let your eyelids lower down. And as you close your eyes, begin to feel your breath. Noticing the coolness of the air as you breathe in and the warmth of the air as you exhale. Allowing your breath to gently guide your mind into your body feeling the presence of your physical body in your practicing space. How surely gravity's law, strong as an ocean current, takes hold of even the strongest thing and pulls it toward the heart of the world. Each thing, each stone, blossom, child is held in place. Only we in our arrogance push out beyond what we belong to for some empty freedom. If we surrendered to Earth's intelligence, we could rise up rooted like trees. This is what the things can teach us, to fall patiently, to trust our heaviness. Even a bird has to do that before he can fly. So let's allow ourselves to surrender to this very moment to the reality of now. If the mind is searching for some unanswered questions or answers for those questions, if the mind is traveling in time, remind it of the gravitational pull of this moment. Literally feel the gravity pulling your body towards the floor. Feel the connection of the back of the body to the ground. Notice all the different sounds that unfold around your body, singing, you are here, it is now. So allowing your breath to root your mind in this moment. Everything else can wait, or rather everything else is still unfolding, and you are here. So connect yourself with your immediate environment, immediate surroundings, sounds, smells, sensations in the body, that sense of beingness, that sense of aliveness. Feel the heart beating in your chest. Feel the breath moving your body gently. For the next couple of moments, as we share them in silence, maybe in your mind, you gently whisper to yourself, breathing in, I feel I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I feel I'm breathing out. Now begin to deepen your breath. As the breath deepens, welcome gentle movement 
to your fingers, to your toes. Guide your chin side to side, side to side. And maybe oh, another full body stretch is on its way. Extend the arms over the head. As you reach your arms over the head, plug your upper arms in your shoulder sockets so the neck is still long. And maybe once more, press the backs of the heels to the ground and lift your pelvis off the floor. Maybe sway the hips side to side, side to side. Return your pelvis down, walk your feet onto the bolster or your cushion, and then slide your bolster aside, but keep it nearby so we can reach for it in just a little while. On your next inhalation, have your feet about hip distance apart, press your feet down, press your knees forward, and begin to peel your lower back off the floor. Tailbone, pelvis, lower back, and now reach your arms over the head as you lift your pelvis. And as you exhale one vertebrae by one, begin to lower your spine down, lower your arms forward and down. We're beginning to wake up the spine, inhale, lifting the tailbone, pelvis, low back, arms reach up and over the head. And as you exhale, slowly, slowly, Lower your arms, lower your spine down. Please continue following your breath with this movement. And let's practice what is called envelope breath. Just like a postcard or a letter fits into an envelope quite nicely, let the movement fit into the embrace of the breath. So the inhalation begins before you lift your tailbone, before you lift your hips. And it continues even when your arms are all the way up. The exhalation begins before you start lowering your spine down. And it continues even when your arms find the floor by your sides. Find this movement three more times perhaps slowing it down five or 10%. And we know to slow the movement down, we slow down the breath. Since the breath is the guide, since the breath is our navigation system. One more time, inhale, lift. And as you exhale, lower everything down. Once your tailbone finds the floor, next time guide your knees to your chest, your thighs to your belly, roll side to side, side to side. Come back to stillness, return your feet to the ground, find your bolster or a pillow or a block and slide that prop underneath your sacrum. So now your pelvis, your sacrum are supported. Let's heel toe the left foot forward, extend your left leg forward. If your lower back or hip flexors do not agree with that idea, you can keep your left knee bent. Now, as you inhale, lift the right knee, right foot, interlace your fingers either at your right hamstrings or your right shin. And let's circle that right ankle a couple of times one way, and then a couple of times the other way around. I don't know if you can hear it, but my ankle is quite audible, quite musical this morning. Yours might be too. So just notice this little sound. Now come back to stillness. And as you exhale next time, really hug your right thigh towards the chest. And then let your left leg hover above the floor just a bit. So the left heel is very close to the floor, but not quite on the ground. Engage your left buttock and notice how that engagement echoes in your left hip flexors, the top of your left thigh. Now continue hugging your right thigh in as much as you reach forward through your left toe tips. Find three more breaths here. Drawing your right thigh in as much as far as you reach forward through the left toe tips. One more inhalation. 
And as you exhale, release your left heel down, extend your right leg to the ceiling. You might need to move your hands a little closer to the sits bone on your hamstrings. And when I say extend the leg, I don't necessarily mean a full extension. Extend the leg to the degree that the hamstrings agree with. And now flex your right foot. So reach up through the heel. Find three more breaths here. Reaching up through the right heel, flexing the foot, and then bend your knee 90 degrees. So now your shin is perpendicular to your thigh. Place your right hand at your right outer knee or thigh and push your hand into your thigh. Push your thigh into your hand. So continue this mutual pressure for three breaths. Pressing your hand into your thigh, pressing the thigh into the hand. And notice how your hips respond to that mutual pressure. See if you can maintain that 90 degrees angle throughout the entire hold, shin to thigh. Find another breath here. And then release. Now, lower your right arm down and bring your left hand to your right inner knee or thigh and push your thigh into the hand. Push your hand into your thigh without moving your leg. Couple of breaths here, let's say three. Continue maintaining that 90 degrees angle, shin to thigh, push the hand into your leg, leg into your hand. Notice how your hips respond. And release, return your right foot to the ground, bend your left knee, and now heel toe your right foot forward, extend the leg. Now point your right toes, lift your left knee, interlace your fingers either at your left hamstrings or your left shin. Let's circle the left ankle a couple of times. Let's see what sounds this ankle makes. Circling the ankle one way and then the other way around. And then come back to stillness. Continue inviting your left thigh to move towards your belly. And now lift your right leg ever so slightly off the ground. Engage your right buttock. And notice how that engagement echoes at your right upper thigh. As much as you reach forward through your right toe tips, draw your left thigh in towards your belly. Staying here for three more breaths. If you notice that your shoulders are hugging your neck, see if you can soften your shoulders. The neck might not need that protection right now. Find another deep breath in. Reach and pull with even effort. And then lower your right leg down. Let's extend the left leg towards the ceiling, interlacing the fingers at the hamstrings or maybe hugging the sides of the leg. Flex the left foot, reach up through the heel, or maybe the left knee is bent quite a bit, and that's okay too. Finding two more breaths here, the left leg might start shaking a little. That's okay, that's a sign of success. And then bend your left knee, finding that 90 degrees angle, shin to thigh, lower your right arm down, bring your left hand to your left outer thigh or knee and press your hand into your knee or thigh, thigh into your hand. Applying mutual pressure, noticing how your hips respond to that pressure. Finding two more breaths here, the leg might be shaking, that's all right. And switch sides. So now your right hand finds your left inner thigh, rest your left arm on the floor, and press your thigh into the hand, hand into the thigh. Let the pressure be even on both sides. So as much as you press with the hand, that much you press with the thigh for two more breaths. Can the teeth be unclenched? Can your gaze relax? One more inhalation and release, simple but not easy. Extend both legs forward, arms reach over the head, find a full body stretch, maybe a yawn, engage both buttocks. And then release both of them, bend your knees, 
walk your feet towards the bolster, press your feet down, lift the pelvis and slide the bolster or your block or your pillow aside. Slowly, one vertebrae by one, lower your spine down. Let's give the knees a hug and roll side to side, side to side. So we will take some of these movements that we just explored and we will bring them uh, further away from the ground to some of our familiar asanas. Return your feet to the ground and choose a side to roll on to. Pause there for a breath or two. And then with the help of your arms, begin your journey to your upright seat, to your upright seat. Let's cross the ankles, bring the hands to your knees. If it's a better choice for you to keep the legs extended, keep them extended. As you exhale, round your spine, guide your chin in. And as you inhale, expand your chest. Lean forward. Finding cat and cow pulsation. Following your breath with this movement. Maybe letting your eyelids lower down so you can feel the subtlety of the sensations, sensations along the spine, sensations around the hips, sensations around the shoulders, allowing your mind to be rooted in those physical experiences. Let's find two more pulsations, cow pose and cat. Slow the movement down. Eventually find your way to stillness, neutral spine. Find your way onto your hands and knees, choosing the route that would bring you there, the route that is calling you right now. And we'll move to child's pose. So connect your big toes, have your knees about hip distance apart, lowering the forehead down to the mat or your block. Guide your hips side to side, side to side. Now stabilize the position of the hips and on your next inhalation, lift the hips above the knees, lift the arms above the shoulders. If you don't feel dizzy, look up at your hands. As you exhale as slowly and as soundlessly as possible, lower your hands forward, lower your hands down. Inhale, find cow pose, lift the chin, lift the tail. Curl your toes under and find your first downward facing dog of the practice. Send your pelvis back and up. Don't forget to root down, press down through the roots of the index fingers. Inhale, lower your knees to your mat. As soon as the connection happens, lift the chin, lift the tail. And then flatten the tops of your feet on the floor as you find child's pose. Let's explore this sequence a couple more times. Inhale, kneeling mountain, lifting the arms out and up. Exhale, lower your hands forward and down. Cow pose as you inhale. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Remember, we are still practicing our envelope. Breath, inhale, cow pose. Even when your knees find the floor, the inhalation continues. Exhale, child's pose. Even when the hips move all the way down, the exhalation continues. Inhale, kneeling mountain. Feel the touch of the hands above the head. Exhale, feel the connection of the hands to the ground. Cow pose as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. One more time, lower your knees to the ground. Lift the chin, lift the tailbone. And as you exhale, return back to child's pose. Great. Let's find the way onto the hands and knees. Find your block. Some of you are familiar with this movement that would balance the pelvis and stabilize the hips. So let's walk the right knee onto the block and 
of course, if you don't have a block, a rolled up blanket or a stack of books or even a pillow would do. You might not as get as high of a lift as if you were using the block. That doesn't matter, that's fine. So stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Look at your pelvis and notice how your right hip is way higher, way higher than your left one. So let's change that. Let's press the right knee down and lift the left knee up on the same level as your right knee. So now your pelvis is much more leveled and even to the ground. Curl your left toes under, curl your right toes under. And now without lifting your left hip, begin to guide your left knee out and up, as high up as your knee wants to go. And then lower your knee down. The pelvis remains still and even to the ground. Try this couple more times. Inhale out and up. Exhale in and down. Twice more. Meanwhile, maintain long spine. Great. Now next time you're guiding your knee out and up, pause. And either keep your stillness here or begin to extend your right leg out to the side. Simple but not easy. And then bend your knee again. If there is a cramping at your left outer thigh, left outer hip, you can lower your knee down. But then try it again. Guiding the leg out, extending the leg maybe, and then bend your knee, lower your knee down. One more time, knees moving out and up. Maybe extend your leg to the side, bend your knee, and return your knee all the way down. Set the block aside, find child's pose for a few breaths. Oh, maybe celebrate the end of the sequence on this side with a deep inhalation and a sigh of relief. Oh. We'll see how the other side is doing. Come back onto your hands and knees and set the block or another prop underneath your left knee. And again, look at the pelvis and notice how uneven the hips are. The right hip is way below the left one. So what can we do to change that? Lift the right knee, flex both feet, have the toe tips on the floor, and now your pelvis is much more even to the ground while keeping your spine long, while hugging the belly towards the spine, draw the right knee out and up on the inhalation. And as you exhale, lower the knee in and down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, noticing the difference between two sides. Twice more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. One more time, lower down. Great. Now let's lift the right knee out and up and either stay right here or begin to extend your right leg out to the side. Keep the foot flexed. Bend your knee. Return the knee down. Let it hover on the same level as the left knee. Twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, extend. Bend and lower down one last time, I promise. Inhale, lift extend and bend, lower the knee all the way down, step off the block and find child's pose. Maybe massage your wrists, give them some love, give them some attention. All right, stabilize your pelvis. And on your next inhalation, lift the hips above the knees, arms above the shoulders. And as you exhale, lower your hands forward, lower your hands down. Finding cow pose as you inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. On your next inhalation, step your feet together. Continue pressing down through the roots of the index fingers instead of just favoring the outer hand. And on your next inhalation, lift your right leg up. Up, up, up. Now let's bend the right knee and without lifting the right hip higher than the left one, so again, pelvis remains even to the floor, 
lower your knee halfway down so now your knees are on one line flex your right foot and just like you did a moment ago guide your knee out and up exhale in and down try it twice again out and up in and down if keeping the left knee lifted does not feel all that great you can lower your left knee down return your right foot to the floor extend the left leg to the ceiling bend your left knee lower your left knee halfway down so knees are on one line flex your left foot inhale knees moving out and up exhale in and down i wasn't joking when i said we're going to approach the hips today inhale out and up exhale in and down one more time inhale exhale great lower your left foot down look forward and slowly slowly walk your feet towards your hands bend your knees slightly more and on your next inhalation start unfolding your spine extend your arms over the head full body stretch and as you exhale hands are traveling to the, through the heart center fold forward a couple more times perhaps you feel a change of pressure in your upper body in your head as you rise all the way up so that's why we want to move very very slowly here just to adjust to the change of pace to the positioning of the body in the space of your room all right two more pulsations inhale rise exhale fold forward one more time inhale lift and exhale release great lift the chest halfway as you inhale next time and as you exhale step your left toes way back let it be a generous step have your feet about hip distance apart horizontally and find your way to a high lunge extend the arms over the head now this might remind you of that time when you were lying down on the bolster and engaging the buttock so let's engage the left buttock noticing how that highlights your hip flexors let's see if you can lengthen your tailbone towards the ground as you reach up through the crown of the head now lift your arms over the head and with your hands find your elbows if the elbows are not available find your forearms or your wrists now while keeping the pelvis facing forward draw the right elbow to the right gently pulling on the left elbow with the right hand inhale come back to center exhale draw the left elbow to the left pulling on the right elbow with the left hand inhale come back to center and as you exhale frame your right foot with your hands as you breathe in next time shift your weight forward begin to lift your left leg up this is where the block can come in handy you can rest your hands on a block if you have two even better one block for each hand now bend your left knee just like you did in tabletop just like you did in downward facing dog and lower your knee down so now your knees are on the same line guess what we'll do that opening and closing movement again inhale guide your knee out exhale lower it down inhale out exhale down one more time inhale lift exhale lower now let's bring that right left ankle behind your right one so now your ankles are crossed right in front of the left one move your hips to the left as you walk your hands to the right and really push your left foot into the ground so you can extend your left leg to the degree that your hamstrings your outer thigh agree with so here we are moving the left shoulder away from the left hip left hip away from the shoulder Oh, favoring the breath 
the breath is your priority. Now walk your hands back to center, keep your ankles crossed, press your feet down, come up to your tall spine, extend your arms over the head. Now as you exhale, bring your hands to the heart and lift your right knee. As you feel the palm to palm, finger pad to finger pad connection of your hands, flex your right foot and begin to circle your right knee out to the right a couple of times. And then circle your knee the other way. If you feel a little wiggly, a little wobbly, that's a good thing. All right, next time you lift your knee, pause, and either keep your knee bent or begin to extend your right leg for three, two, one, bend your knee, visualize warrior two, step your right foot back, open your arms wide apart. So now your left fingertips are reaching forward, the right fingertips are reaching back. Extend your arms over the head, and just like you did a moment ago, bring your hands to your elbows or forearms or wrists. Now, with your right hand, pull on your left elbow. Some of us will stay right here. Some of us will slide the left hand towards the right upper arm, and then open the right arm out to the side. So the palm is facing the floor, and as the right arm is moving down, it is pulling on your left hand, and the left triceps area begins to lengthen, reach up through the crown of the head. Find another breath here. And now reverse your warrior, reaching the left knee away from the left fingertips, left fingertips away from the left knee. Another breath here. Inhale, come back to warrior two. And as you exhale, frame your left foot with the hands, lift the right heel, step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Let's find plank pose. Shoulders are hovering above the wrists. Press your heels back, reach the crown of the head forward. As if you had a block between your thighs, can you squeeze onto that block? The legs don't move. Find two more breaths here. And next time you inhale, lower your knees to the ground. Find a resemblance of cow pose. Keep your chest spacious. Shift your weight forward. Keep hugging your elbows to your side ribs. Bend your elbows and lower your chest, and maybe the chin down. So knees, chest, and chin are on the floor. On your next inhalation, lean forward, find cobra with your hands and your legs lifted. So it might not be cobra after all, it might be locust pose. Point your toes back. Keep hugging onto that imaginary block with your inner thighs. Find another breath in. And as you exhale, hands, toes, find the floor. Press up to your plank and back to downward facing dog. Oh, find a deep inhalation through your nose. Exhale out of the mouth. Look forward as you inhale, and as you exhale, walk your feet towards your hands. Halfway lift of the chest as you breathe in, and as you exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees a little more. Inhale, unfold into your extended mounts and arms reach out, arms reach up. And as you exhale, hands are moving through the heart center all the way down. Twice more, inhale, exhale. Maybe you close your eyes and continue trusting your breath as your navigation system. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. 
Great. Now let's lift the chest halfway as we inhale. And as you exhale, take a big step back with your right foot. On your next inhalation, find your high lunge. Extend your arms over the head. Bring your hands to your heart. Bring your hands to your hips. Engage your right buttock. And lengthen your tailbone towards the ground as you reach up through the crown of the head. Uh, the, the crown of the head. Draw the belly in. Keep lengthening the spine. And on your next inhalation, extend your arms over the head, bend your elbows, hug your elbows with your hands, elbows or forearms or wrists. And now pull with the left hand on your right elbow. Feel the stretch on your right upper arm. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, switch sides. Try it again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch. Next time you inhale, extend your arms over the head. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Lift the right leg up. Maybe it's time to find your block or two. Look at the pelvis. Even it out to the floor. Bend your right knee, guide your right knee down so both knees are on one line. Flex your right foot and now guide your right knee out and up as you inhale. Exhale in and down. Twice more, inhale out and up. Exhale in and down. One more time, lift and lower. Very nice. Now cross your right ankle behind the left one. Move your pelvis to the right side. Walk your hands to the left side. And can you push the right foot down enough to feel the lengthening at your right outer thigh? Extension at the right hamstrings. The right shoulder is moving away from the right hip. The right hip is moving away from the right shoulder. Find another breath here, and then slowly walk your hands forward. Keep your ankles crossed, come up with your torso, extend your arms over the head. And as you exhale, bring your hands to the heart as you lift your left knee. Let's circle the knee a couple of times. Out to the left, so from right to left. And then a couple of times the other way around. The circles might be quite wide, quite spacious, or they can be quite narrow. That's all right. The next time you inhale, lift the left knee and either stay here or extend your left leg for three, two, one. Bend your left knee, visualize warrior two, Find your warrior two. Feel free to broaden your stance. Arrive at your position. Feel the support of the ground beneath your feet. Keep your right knee bent. Extend the arms over the head. Bend your elbows. Find your elbows with your hands or your forearms or your wrists. And now pull with the left hand on your right arm. So the torso is still vertical, but now we are stretching the right upper arm. Stay here or snuggle up your right hand towards your left upper arm and move your left arm out and down. Palm is facing the floor. Press the back of your head into your right upper arm. Reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling. Find another deep inhalation. Slow breath out and reverse your warrior as you inhale next time. Stay here for a few breaths, knees reaching away from the fingertips, fingertips reach away from the knee. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, frame your right foot with your hands. Left heel lifts, 
step your right foot back. Now we can either come back to the previous vinyasa when your knees, your chest, your chin were on the floor, or from plank pose, knees lifted or down, find your chaturanga. Hug your side ribs with your elbows. And then either cobra or upward facing dog. Come back to plank and all the way back to downward facing dog. As you inhale next time, lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tailbone. And as you exhale, find child's pose. Guide your hips side to side, side to side. All right. On your next inhalation, find your kneeling mountain, reaching the arms over the head. And as you exhale, lower your hands forward, lower your hands down. Cow pose as you inhale. Downward dog as you exhale. Now this time, walk your hands towards your feet. Walk your hands towards your feet. I'll come towards the middle of the mat so you can see me a little bit better. The hands can stay on the floor. You can find the support of the block. Let's shift the weight towards the right side and find your left big toe with the left first three fingers. Shift the weight to the right side, bend your right knee ever so slightly, flex your left foot and lift your left foot up, straight up. Lower it down, try it again. Shift your weight to the right and maybe lift your left foot straight up. Lower it down one more time. Shift the weight to the right, lift the left foot. Now begin to move your leg out and up. Now either keep your right hand on the floor or a block or come up onto your right fingertips and maybe bring your right hand to your heart center. If you would like a counterbalance, you can extend your right arm out to the side for three, two, one. Release everything to the floor, foot, hands. Lift the chest halfway as you inhale, exhale, release. On your next inhalation, extend your arms over the head, full body stretch. And with your left hand, find your right wrist, connect your right thumb and pointing fingers. Pull up and over to the right, or to the left, I'm sorry. Left hand is pulling on your right wrist. Turn your gaze to the right, upper corner of the room. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands are moving through the heart center all the way down. Lift the chest halfway. Shift the weight to the left side. Maybe place a block underneath your left hand. With the first three fingers of your right hand, find your right big toe. Shift the weight to the left and lift the right foot straight up. Maybe. And then lower the foot down. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower one more time. And lower down. Now shift the weight to the left side. Push your left foot down. Lift your right foot up. Stay right here or move your right leg out to the side. The left knee can be slightly bent. Maybe you come up onto your left fingertips. Maybe you bring your left hand to your heart center. Maybe you open your left arm out to the side. Two more breaths here, wherever here is. And then release everything down. Inhale, find your extended mountain. And this time your right hand finds your left wrist. Connect your left thumb and pointing fingers. Pull up and over to the right side. Turn your gaze to the left, upper corner of the room. Send your pelvis forward a little bit more. Push your feet down. And slowly come up. Exhale, release. 
into your standing forward fold and walk your hands forward for your downward facing dog and find the final round of vinyasa playing chaturanga back bend or you can lower your knees down and find that knees chest chin position the choice is yours and let's all find plank pose one more time. This time lower all the way down onto your belly and thrust your forehead on your hands. Guide your hips side to side, side to side. And then stabilize the position of the pelvis, extend your right arm forward. Place your left hand by your uh, left side of the chest and then roll over onto your right hand side. Bend your right elbow and thrust your head in your right hand. All right. So if possible, keep your legs extended. If not, you can keep your knees slightly bent. Flex your feet. Push your feet back. So pushing your feet towards the short side of the mat. Some of us will stay here because you can already feel your abdominal wall working to keep you balanced and not rolling over onto your back. Otherwise, lift your left leg up. Try not to move it forward much, although some forward movement will, get, will be involved. But try to lift it straight up. And maybe with your left hand, first three fingers, find your left big toe. You can also place your hand on the shin or the hamstrings. Couple more breaths here. Softening the shoulders, making sure the neck is still long. Keeping the right foot flexed will help you to maintain the balance. Find another breath here, wherever here is. And then bend your left knee and draw your left knee forward and down in front of your belly. Bend your right knee, begin to search for your right foot with your left hand. If the foot is not available, that is why we have a strap today. So fold the strap around your right foot. And as you turn your gaze to the ceiling, rotate your left shoulder out and simply release your right arm. Cat tail twist position. Oh, I will stay here for about a minute today. So after all the effort that we put into balancing on our feet and our hands today, take a moment to appreciate that much uh, so many more areas of the body are connecting you to the floor now. Not just your feet, not just your hands. So as you feel the gravitational pull, trust it more and more as the body begins to soften into the support of the floor. Sharing three more slow, intentional, velvety smooth breaths. Very nice release. Your right foot, begin your journey onto your belly. Crocodile pose, rest your hands one on top of the other. Rest your forehead on your hands. Take your time making this transition. And then roll over onto your left hand side and I'm gonna face you so you can see me a little bit better. So roll over onto your left hand side, rest your head in your left hand, flex your feet and push your feet away from the crown of the head. Belly's hugging the spine. Now begin to lift your right leg up, maybe. And see if you can lift it straight up. 
maybe with the right hand, you begin to search for the right hamstrings. Maybe it's the shin, maybe it's the ankle, maybe it's the big toe that is available. And it is surprisingly challenging to uh, not roll over onto the back. And if it happens, then it happens. It's part of the practice. Continue hugging the lower back with your belly. Continue breathing slowly. Don't sacrifice your breath for the purpose of this asana. The breath comes first. Find three more. Slow inhalations, slow exhalations, even though the body might feel shaky right now. All right, bend your right knee and guide your right knee in front of your belly to the floor. Begin to search for your left foot with your right hand. You can also find a strap and slowly, slowly turn your gaze up, rotate your right shoulder out, relax your left arm. You can place something underneath your right knee, a block or a blanket, if that support is welcome. Letting the head be heavy and supported. Maybe a block, maybe a blanket, maybe a pillow, maybe the floor. So again, we are allowing ourselves to melt. There are certain areas of the body that are engaged, such as your right hand. But there are certain areas of the body that you can afford to soften, to release. So maybe you discover that you can unclench your teeth. You can relax your gaze. Your belly can move freely as you breathe. Letting the mind rest on this pleasant experience of being held. Let's share three more breaths here. One slow breath at a time. Great. When you exhale next time, let your foot or the strap go, and instead of returning onto your belly, simply roll over onto your back and hug your knees to the chest as you arrive onto your mat. Maybe guide your brows to the knees, roll side to side, side to side, and then return the back of your head to the floor and find your variation of happy baby pose. Hands can be on your knees or your ankles or your feet. And gently roll side to side here. Come back to stillness. Connect the soles of your feet on the floor. Guide your knees wide apart. If you would like to have a bolster or a pillow underneath your knees, reach for that prop. Still having the feet connected, knees open wide if possible. And then rest your hands on your belly if your shoulders agree with it. And if the shoulders don't like it at all, Lower your arms to the floor by your sides. Wherever your hands are, begin to invite your belly, encourage your belly to move with the breath. The belly rounds and expands on the inhalation. The belly deflates and descends on the exhalation. The breath is slow and smooth and so delicious. Rest your mind on this breath, this very breath, this very moment.
Finding three more slow belly breaths. And as you exhale your third time, release your arms to the floor by your sides. If you would like to, you can extend your legs forward. If the bolster or a pillow are on the way, they're more of a distraction and not a prop, you can set them aside. Our main intention now is to create circumstances where we feel supported, warm, at ease. Beginning your journey to Shavasana. Letting your palms face the ceiling. If the soles of the feet are not connected, let your toes turn out to the sides. As the world continues turning and spinning, you're still here in the center of it all. And there is stillness and you are safe in stillness. You are held by stillness. No sense of time, no responsibility. Allow yourself to savor that feeling, that experience of being, being here and now. For the next couple of minutes, allow your body be held. The body is being held. The body is being breathed as you rest. Follow your breath back to your body. Feel the gravitational pull. Feel the presence of your physical body in your practicing space. 
the floor is still supporting you. The air is still gently kissing the skin of your hands and feet and face. If you would like to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer, you're welcome to pause this video. Otherwise, allow your breath grow deeper. And as the breath deepens, start welcoming gentle movement to your fingers, to your toes, your hands, your feet, your face, your shoulders. And maybe you find a full body stretch and a deep yawn. As you exhale, release your arms to the floor by your sides. Bend your knees. And choose a side to roll onto. Pause on your side for a couple of breaths. With the help of your arms, slowly, slowly, begin your journey to your upright seat. Take your time getting up. And as you find your tall spine, connect your hands at the heart center. Take a moment here to thank yourself for taking a, an hour of your day to practice self-care. Take another moment to notice your current state of being. Let's find a deep breath in. Release. Thank you all for practicing together, for breathing together. Be well. Namaste.